Now it's time to try a little experiment. We're gonna、oh. see about our personalities through our writing. It says try it out. Okay, you guys can try this out at home too. Write this down. So write down this sentence. Get yourself a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil or a marker. Okay. And the sentence that you want to write down is the duck jumped. Into the pond. Okay. Before you do that, let's take a look at a couple of words. Our first vocabulary word is duck. D U C K. Duck. A duck is a bird that spends most of its time in the water. It has very short legs and a wide beak at its mouth. If you go to Daan Park, you might see some ducks swimming there. And our example sentence says: Three ducks are swimming in the water. Three ducks are swimming in the water. 再我们试试看，以前我们现在看这个 duck 是个动物，表示鸭子。How did a duck sound in English? You mean like Donald Duck or like a real duck? <laughs> Both. Both. I, I can't do Donald Duck, but a real duck.、Uh, the sound、uh-huh. that we say they make, we say it's quack. That's Q U A C Q U A C K. Yeah, quack. Doesn't sound quack, like quack, a duck. Quack 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 quack. No, quack, quack in, no. In Chinese. Okay, well, it's kind of similar. <laughs> okay, a little bit、quack. the same. Okay, duck is a 鸭子，脖子比较短的那种水鸟。另外，脖子长长的是鹅，叫 goose。例如，这个例句呢是说 three ducks， 三只鸭子在水里游泳。So the duck jumped into where? The duck jumped into the pond, and that's our next vocabulary word for the day. We spell it p o n d, pond. A pond is an area of water, and it's smaller than a lake. Sometimes it's made by man, so it's not naturally there. We can say some little frogs live near that pond. Some little frogs live near that pond. Pond 是池塘，小小的水池都可以说 pond。不过游泳池就不是 swimming pond。No, no, no. no. We say swimming pool. Swimming pool. 嗯哼，这是游泳池，人可以泡进去的水池，我们用 pool。那例句呢是这个青蛙在池塘旁用 pond。So we're ready for our handwriting. Yes, we have both of our samples here. Mine is on this piece of paper. Yours is there. Don't look at mine. Okay, sorry, sorry. No cheating. <laughs> Now it says, "Now look at your handwriting." So you guys can take a look at yours. We've got ours right here in front of us, and we're going to find out what your yeah, writing what say? says about you. Okay, first of all, if your letters are big, you might be friendly. Okay, yours are big. I'm super big. You're super friendly. Super friendly. You're a very friendly person. Mine are small. I don't even know if you guys can read that. <laughs> I guess that means I'm I can't not. Even... Really? Friendly? I'm a friendly guy. You know, I talk to people. I say、no. hi on the street. I smile. The writing doesn't say. But、that. the writing says no. No, you're not. Oh no!、It's、I don't even、pretending. know myself. It's all. Wow. Okay, <laughs> we're learning a lot. Okay. Right. So if I have my letters so big, the letters are 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 big, People with small handwriting might be shy.、Ah. Ah, okay, so it's not that I'm not friendly. <laughs> okay, I'm not mean. I'm not grumpy. It's that I'm shy. I'm, Are you? I don't. I'm, I don't like to talk to people that I. What? I'm sorry. Louder,、shy. please. I'm shy. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry.、Uh, whoa,、yeah. whoa, whoa. Okay. If、oh. 字像舅老师这么小的话 ，I'm nervous. 也不是说不友善啦，相反的可能是比较 shy 害羞的。So if you're shy, you get nervous when meeting new people.、Mm-hmm. It's okay. We're not. We're friends.、But、there's a camera, right? There's people. I, I, yeah, I'm a little bit shy sometimes. Really? But, Do you、uh, agree with this one? I think so. Yeah. Sometimes I'm shy around people that I don't know. So that's true. Okay. okay. So big letters mean you're friendly. Small、mm-hmm. might mean you're a little bit shy. And next, it says, "How dark are your words?" Okay, we're talking、how、about like dark. Yeah, how the color of the words. If you push、Ooh. down when you write, so if you're really pushing into the paper, very strong, with a lot of a lot power, of power behind <laughs> it, it means you might have strong 
emotions. Okay,、oh. your feelings might be very strong. So let's take a quick look. Mine are not that、uh, dark. They're kind of light、mine. in places. Yours. A little bit dark. I think so. A little bit dark. Strong、so、emotions. Strong emotions. What does that mean? Emotion is our next vocabulary word for the day. We spell it E M O T I O N. Emotion. An emotion is a feeling that you experience. For example, love, fear, or anger. Those are all emotions. We could say the teacher's voice was full of emotions. All the kids enjoyed his story. The teacher's voice was full of emotions. All the kids enjoyed his story. Wow! 原来字迹除了大小，还可以看深浅。How dark 就是你的字迹多深。如果写的像我稍微比较用力一点，你可能就是情感比较强烈。情感我们用 emotion 这个名词。如果你情感比较强烈 ，strong emotions 就是比较爱恨分明。喜欢就喜欢，不喜欢就也不会假装。So You like it. If you like it, you like it. You won't pretend like you don't like it. No, I think you'll just say what you mean. You'll、mm. say exactly how you feel. If you're sad, you're, you'll say you're sad. If you're angry, you'll say you're angry. If you're happy, you'll tell people you're happy. Those are strong emotions. 嗯，或者像例句，我们说 full of emotion 就是情感充沛的，就是充满高低起伏，不会像是机器人。那当然，小孩就很喜欢他所有的故事啦。Next, it says if you write lightly, lightly like yours, maybe kind of like mine. Yeah, you might be understanding. Oh, okay, so I'm shy and understanding. Apparently, that's what this that's says. That's you. That's, that's me. You. That's me.、Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. If you're understanding, it just means that you understand the way other people feel, or you know the things that they might be going through. You can、that's、relate、good. to that. So I, that's a good thing.、Mm-hmm. I would say being shy. Might not be so good, but being understanding, that's good. To, that's a good thing. So, if your writing is kind of light, that's what it means. 嗯，如果写字像周老师稍微浅一点的，这个呢就比较就比较不用力。You might be understanding. Understanding 是从这个 understand 变来的形容词，表示呢就是善解人意，比较能够理解别人的。I think my handwriting is. Darker. It's so, a little bit darker. There's some light parts in there too. So I think so you've got、like、a little bit、okay. of understanding in you too. I like it. I like、too. it. Strong emotions, but understanding too. Wow. <laughs> Next, it goes on to say that handwriting generally slants to the right or left. It kind of moves、wow. one way or the other. We have another word here. It's、hmm. generally, and it's spelled G-E-N-E-R-A-L-L-Y. Generally. Generally is an L Y word, so we know it's an adverb, and it means usually or in most situations. Now we could say that Dean generally plays basketball three times a week. Dean generally plays basketball three times a week. 除了大小跟轻重深浅，还有这个倾斜的角。角度，大部分呢，当然就是分左右边啦。大部分，大部分呢，我们会用一个副词 generally， 一般而言，大致上就是讲个大概的，不是嗯、呃、准，不是很准确，不过也不会差太远。比如例句就是说 ，Dean 通常一周会打篮球三次，有时候可能两次，有时候可能五次，但多数的时候是三次这样。They almost slant to the right or left. Mm, how's yours? Mine's all over the place. Some some <laughs> letters are left, some、they're、letters、flying. are right. They're just a mess. They're all over the、Aww. place. So let's try to figure this out. The、okay. article says if your words slant to the right, to the right, you might value your friends and family. Okay, value just means you might think those things are important. Your friends and your family are very important. So if your handwriting goes to the right, right. Uh, that means you care about them, right? Ah, if you're more towards the right side, you might be more concerned with friends and family. Concerned, we use value. This word here is a verb. You care about them more. You think of them more often. You care about them more. You think of them more often. I think mine. I can't tell. I think. They, maybe they go to the left more. Oh wait. I think、they、might、so. go to the left more.、I、so what does so. that mean if it goes to the left? If your handwriting slants to the left, you might keep to yourself. Keep、Ooh. to yourself just means you kind of enjoy being alone, being by yourself.、Uh, you don't hang out with other people so much. 
So mine kind of goes both ways. So I guess I value my friends sometimes. and my family, and sometimes I like to keep to myself, which is true. That is true. I like my friends and my family, but I also like my alone time, my me time. I like to be by myself sometimes. That's like really complex. I'm a complex person, <laughs> just like my messy, <laughs> messy handwriting. 复杂。如果你的字和我一样是偏向左边 ，you keep to yourself， 意思就是比较喜欢把东西留保留给自己，不太喜欢分享自己的意见，或者是像 Joe 老师是。不知道在哪边做，就是在飞的。It's all over the place. It's just a mess. <laughs> well, although this might not be true for everyone, so don't worry. These aren't like firm rules. No. It's not necessarily true. It's generally true in most situations. It's fun to look at handwriting. True. 当然啊，这不是对每个人都那么准确的啦。不过啊，字迹还是能透露一些，就是每个人的个性，这样也是蛮有趣的。I agree. Now I'm going to check everyone's handwriting from now on. Yes, now that you know、mm -hmm. these、uh, sort of general rules, you can check out people's handwriting. Oh, is it slant to the right or to the left? Are the letters big or big small? Big or small? Are they dark or light? Maybe you can learn something about them. We're almost out of time today. Before we go, let's have our review.